Today I'm going to give you 100 fun date ideas you can consider when you plan your next date. I'm Zach Fazio from Texas. In a previous video, I gave you guys my secret formula for how I plan creative, fun, and memorable dates. I call it the three E's of amazing dates. Today I want to talk about that middle part of the date, entertainment. It's where you guys get to go on an adventure together and do something fun and memorable. And I know when you're planning a date, it can be really hard to come up with fresh ideas on the spot. So, in order to help you, today I'm going to give you guys 100 date ideas. I've done a lot of these things myself when I've gone on dates. Now there's a lot of different things you can do that can really break the budget. So I'm going to start with the cheap stuff and move on up to some of the more expensive stuff. Now this is just my advice. Everyone's date experience is going to be different. In my experience, I've done a lot of dates that were double dates, triple dates, even quadruple dates. And a lot of the things on this list today are even more fun when you get more couples involved. So whether you're single, or dating, or married, I hope these ideas help you have a blast on your next date. If you're going to do an outdoor date, I suggest checking the weather ahead of time and rechecking it a few days before. You don't want to do a date if it's blazing hot or it's raining. Let's start simple. You can go on a walk to the beach, or the park, or downtown. Go on a bike ride, or feed ducks at a local pond. If there's enough wind, you can fly a kite, go throw a frisbee, or Play some disc golf, or tennis. Go to a river and go canoeing, or paddle boarding. You can go into a cave and go spelunking. If you want to get adventurous, go on a nature hike, geocaching, or orienteering. If you don't know what those are, look it up. Well, you could go surfing. If you're by the beach, how about you build a sandcastle? Or if you're in Canada or something, how about you build a snowman? If it's late in the day, how about you watch the sunset? If it's really late, how about you do some stargazing? Another category for great dates is arts and crafts. Pinterest exists because there's a lot of people on planet Earth who really like this stuff. You could take a painting class, or you could take a ceramics class. You could do bead art. How about you make greeting cards, fill them out, and then give them to one another? This one's for my wife. On one of my dates, we painted picture frames. You could also make tie-dye shirts together, or carve pumpkins, or make a shadow box. Or how about learning origami together? Taco. If it's close to Christmas time, maybe make a gingerbread house or decorate a Christmas tree together. One of my personal favorites was doing light photography on a date. If you don't know what light photography is, look it up. This is my personal favorite category for dates. I call it getting silly. It's like doing something you would have done when you were a kid, but as an adult. How about you go out and buy some food and get some ponchos, then head outside and have an all out food fight or a shaving cream fight. You know what? How about a snowball fight? Or a water gun fight? Or a Nerf gun fight? But moving away from all the fighting, how about you go to a thrift store and try on some of the goofy clothes and take pictures of each other? One thing I've done is get everyone in a circle and share spooky stories. My friend Brian gave me this idea. We stacked a bunch of cardboard boxes, got a big slingshot, and made some small little birds and did life-size Angry Birds. One time Ashley and I did real-life Fruit Ninja. Basically, we carved a bunch of fruits and had a competition to see who carved the best shape. Come up with some funny skits and record it using your phone. Reenact some scenes from famous movies. How about you look up some funny science experiments online and try those? Depending on the season, maybe you can get some fireworks and shoot those. But do it where it's legal. Another thing you can do on a date is go on a scavenger hunt, especially a photo safari. Basically, just make a list of things that you think are weird, silly, goofy, unusual, and then go out and try to find those things. How about you come up with a funny list of trivia questions and have a make-believe game show? You could also go downtown and ride one of those big tour buses and be tourists for a day. You could also cook together. One thing I've done is make specialty pizzas using a bunch of random ingredients, and then we ate it. Or if you think you're really good at cooking, how about you guys have a Iron Chef cook-off? Or how about you do karaoke? Or a lip sync battle! Before we go any farther, I do want to ask you, if you love our videos, please consider going to kidogotoolbox.com. At our website, you can become a monthly supporter. Even giving $1 or $2 or $5 a month can really go a long way in helping us to make many more videos just like this one. Another cheap category for date ideas is games. 
I suggest picking a game that's easy to learn and easy to explain. Pick a game that's loud and fun and has laughter. Don't pick a game where you systematically eliminate every player in the game. And don't pick a game where someone just dominates the entire time. So a great idea would be Risk, right? No. Were you paying attention? One fun couples game is Loaded Questions. Another great option? Mad Gab. How about Cranium? How about playing Uno or Dominoes? My personal favorite board game is One Night Ultimate Werewolf, but you gotta play that with at least two couples, although I recommend three or more. These don't have to be board games. You could also do charades or even ping pong. And believe it or not, I think some video games are great too. I would suggest games like Mario Kart or Mario Party. Those are great. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yes, Chris. Yeah, can, can you think you can, you can show them this game? Uh, My favorite. Thanks, Chris. Another date category that's simple is just go dancing. And no, I'm not talking about going to the club. How about you guys learn a couple's dance together? You could try learning swing dance, salsa dance, the waltz. You could do tango dancing or find out about another culture's traditional dance and learn that. Another cool category is just going to volunteer and serve your community. How about you find out at the local food bank if they could use some help? Or go to a soup kitchen and help serve food to the poor. And we got bags and put snacks into them, and then later we gave them out to the poor. Or you could look up when the next 5K is happening in your city and go run the 5K. Or if you really hate running, maybe you could just get those signs and support the runners. Another thing you could do on a date is go on a one-day road trip. Now, if you decide to do that, I suggest that you tell your partner ahead of time because they might not enjoy going on a five-hour road trip if they didn't know ahead of time. How about you drive out to a small town nearby or the beach? You could go visit a monument or a national park. Or how about you find out about a festival that's happening nearby and drive out to that? And now for the big category, attractions. You could go bowling or play mini golf. You can go to a batting cage and hit some baseballs around or go to an old school arcade. How about you go to the museum or the zoo or a fish zoo, also called an aquarium. There's also ice skating or roller skating. You could go to an indoor rock wall or if you're afraid of climbing walls, you could do bungee jumping. There's also trampoline parks and laser tag. You could play racquetball, go to an escape room or ride go-karts or go to a carnival. How about going to an archery range or a haunted house? Now, if you really have a big budget for dates, here's some things I would suggest, but these are expensive. You could go to a music concert. How about you take your date to a pro sporting event? Or if you really want to get intense, how about you play some paintball? How about you go up to the mountains and go skiing? Or go really high and go skydiving! Yeah! Woo! And finally, you could go to a big amusement park like Six Flags or SeaWorld or even Disney World. So there you go, 100 fun date ideas. The next time you plan a date, hopefully this list can help you get started. Did we miss any cool ideas? Let us know in the comments below. But for now, that's just another tool for your toolbox.